All right, well, I am back in Duncannon, PA. I was just here maybe a month ago to hike uh, up to Hawk Rock along the Appalachian Trail. This is at the recycling center just south of Duncannon. There's like a parking area here for Hawk Rock. Um, but uh, when I put that video up for Hawk Rock, someone mentioned that there's something down here called the Duncannon Stack. It's like a 50 foot tall stone and brick chimney that's way back here in the woods. So I looked that up, found out what information I could, and I'm gonna go see if we can find that this morning. Um, Cause I had a little trouble getting direction. There was plenty of information about it, but having getting directions to it was difficult, like with a lot of the things I do. Um, but I think, I think I know where I'm going. I think I even woke up in the middle of the night last night and, you know, remembered something. I remember I had a map of the Appalachian Trail, this area, and uh, I remember doing my research and they mentioned a blue blaze trail that comes down from the AT. And that's where the, that's where that chimney is back there somewhere. So I think I know where I'm going. Um, we'll see. Of course, yes, yesterday's adventure didn't turn out so well. I had that leaky kayak yesterday, but I'm uh, hoping today turns out pretty good. All right. And also, like I said, this is a viewer suggestion. I do get quite a few of those suggestions from viewers. And I do appreciate them. Um, some of them I get to, and some of them I haven't gotten to yet. Just because I haven't gone to a place that you suggested doesn't mean I don't ever plan on going there. It just has to fit into my routine and whatnot when where I go to these places. So some places are just farther away to get to or different things like that. So keep on giving me suggestions. I appreciate them. But like I said, don't get, don't get offended if I don't go to yours right away. I mean, there's ones that I received like over a year ago. I just haven't gotten to them yet. Because there's, there's a lot of places I want to go. A lot of places that I found and a lot of places that people give me. So, you know, give me some time to get to those places. All right, let's quit yapping and uh, let's go see if we can find this place. Yeah, and so once again, this is the parking lot for the Hawk Rock Overlook. And it's also the recycling area for the Duncannon area, Duncannon Borough. And we're going to go along this gated road up here. Some of the directions I got said this is called Reservoir Road. So we're going to continue on this for quite a while, I think. I read from anywhere from three to six miles. But I'm pretty sure it's somewhere between. I think it's more like four, four and a half miles. So I got some miles to, I got some miles to eat here. Got a little bit, got here a little bit later than I wanted to as well. Some traffic out on the Route 322. And I am wearing the blaze orange today. It is bear season. I was going to try and avoid coming out in the woods during bear season, but uh, it's Thanksgiving vacation too, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'll just put the orange on. It doesn't hurt, better safe than sorry. It's not my favorite color in the world, but yeah, it keeps you safe. Keeps you out of trouble too. All right, let's go, let's go eat some miles up. That is Sherman's Creek down there, along this old road. Wouldn't mind living over there. There's some houses on that side of the creek. Seems like a nice place to live, maybe. Yeah, like I was saying, I couldn't find any real specific directions to this place. And I can understand why people do that. I know the one site even masked the coordinates to the parking lot back there. Um, I know they try to keep these places um, protected by not telling people where they are because you know people there are people that will come out here and vandalize places like this but at the same time there's people like me and others who would like to come out and see these places but we can't because there's no no one gives directions to how to get there I mean there was one several sites where you could join a, a hiking group and come hiking out here with a group and whatnot but I'm not really into that so much but you know I just want to come out here and see these places so you know I'm gonna show you how to get here because that's kind of what I do in these videos but you know, if you do come out here, just respect, respect the ruins that are out here. You know, they've lasted for a long time, and it'd be nice if they would stay that way without people messing with them. Yes, yeah, so I just passed those two old timers up there. I asked them if they knew about the stack that's out here, and they they just kind of laughed, and you know, said I got a ways to go. So. But I'm prepared for that. I figured I, I figured it was about you know four or five miles hike out there. So they said it's uh, easy to find. It's right along this right along this trail I'm walking on. So that's good to know. We're going in the right direction. 
Yeah, there was a fork in the road just back a ways. And there's the other road down there. But I took a left, just staying on this main, the main road. Well, there are a bunch of little cabins down there, it looks like. I don't know, those might be worth checking out on the way back yet, I don't know. I'm not going to check them out now, I want to get to the stack first. We'll see how I feel on the way back. I want to check those out or not. And you'll pass this building. I wonder if this is the reservoir. Everybody keeps mentioning a reservoir. I wonder if the reservoir is inside that building. And it's just covering it up. Because I know there's some water coming down the mountain over there. Anyway, you'll pass this building and keep on going up the road here. I've been making my way steadily uphill for a while. Of course, somewhere up there is the Appalachian Trail. Hawk Rock is over there somewhere. Looking back the way we came. So, been uphill for almost 45 minutes, but it's a gentle, it's a relatively gentle uphill, so it's not too bad. But, you know, the good thing is that on the way back, I gotta go downhill. You know, I guess you could ride your bike back here too if you would, didn't want to walk but you know this uphill section you're gonna end up walking anyway probably unless you're like some super biker dude but it, coming back on your bike might be pretty cool coming down here but that's the thought too if you have a bike all right gotta keep going uphill Starting to head downhill now, and there is a kind of a gap in the mountain down there, a hollow, and that's kind of where we're headed, I think. So we're not terribly far. I did pass a hunter just a while ago. He's out hunting bear, and uh, he mentioned there's a fork in the trail up here. I guess he took went to the left, and he didn't. I asked him about his smokestack down here. He didn't see anything. And he said he went back pretty far. So I guess that means I'm going to take the other. Fork. The one goes to the right. So that's good. Good encountering him. Get some more directions, maybe. But we are heading down in this hollow here. So we're closing in on our destination, I think. Hopefully. We got some blazes. Two double blazes like that means the start of a trail. Because they have some other blazes here, but there's a trail. It goes up here. Blue Blaze Trail. And I remember reading about that in. When I was researching this, so that's a good sign that some people were coming to the stack, but I think by hiking along the AT and coming down this trail. So I think I'm in the area. Um, I don't know, I, might, I don't think the stack is up that way. It's down by the, there's a stream down here. I'm pretty sure it's down that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just walk up here quick, check things out. And I'm gonna keep going that way, so. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything up there. It pretty much takes you immediately to the foot of the mountain and starts going up. So I don't think there's anything up there. All right, I'm gonna head back down to the main road down there. All right, so here's the fork in the trail that the hunter was talking about. Because the main road keeps going that way. But he said, because he was, he went that way. And he said he didn't see any stack. I'm not sure if he knew what I was talking about either, but. I'm gonna go down to the right here because this takes us down into the hollow. There's a stream down there, um, and that's where there's, the, the stack was part of a sawmill, and that's where it should be. And uh, the website that I researched also said there's some cool springs down here. They call them the Whispering Sands. So this is where I'm gonna head next. Take a right here, just fork. This is just past that. You know, I kept walking. You know, I checked out that blue blaze trail, but I kept walking in the same direction. Then I'm gonna take a right here. Here's 
There's an old pipe. Kind of odd looking. I don't see no staff yet though. I'm gonna keep following this trail though. It kind of curves. Goes up that way. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm not going home until I find this thing. Well, I would go home eventually, but I'd keep looking. Well, there's another fork in the trail. I think I'm gonna stick to the right. Because that one just goes up the mountain. Well, I might poke around up there just a bit. I think I'm gonna take this one though. All right, well, time to reassess my situation. There was nothing down that trail, back at that fork again. So, um, that was kind of a waste of time going down there. Um, so I'm back on the main drag, the main trail that I had been on. Sorry, I'm out of breath a little bit, but those first two guys I met, they made it sound like the stack was right along the main trail. And they seemed to know what they were talking about. The hunter, a bear hunter said he didn't see anything down this way, but he wasn't really looking for what I'm looking for. He was bear hunting, so my guess is if it is down this way, it's probably just off trail a bit. Maybe there's a little trail that leads to it. So I am going to continue down this way, not for a terribly long time, because I do have the. I would like to get back to the truck before dark, but so I think I'm going to go down this way for a little bit more. I'm in the right area from the research I have done, like yeah, that, that blue blaze trail and other things. I'm in the right area. It's just, yeah, this is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going. That well, must be a miracle, but I found it. <laughs> Man, I was just getting ready to turn back. I'm on another side trail off the main trail again. There's like a fallen tree up there. I was, getting, I was right there, I was getting ready to turn back. I was like, man, I'm, you know, I'm gonna run out of daylight. But then I saw some, uh, saw some stone, it looked like a stone wall down here. I was like, well, you know what? Let's just check it out. And then I looked up and I saw the giant smokestack, giant 50 foot tall smokestack. So let's get down there, get a closer look. Yeah, so I, mean, I guess it pays to just keep looking sometimes because I was getting ready to turn back. Even further back, I was like, you know, man, this is, you know, this is like a wild goose chase. I don't know where I'm going, but whew, I found it. Wow. All right, let's take this, check this thing out. All right, so this was a sawmill back in the 1800s. I guess this is the foundation for it here. That's pretty cool. And that is the stack for it. It's a 50 foot tall stack. It starts with stone, then it turns into red brick. This was built in 18, 1857 by Captain Jacob Coulter and someone named Palmer. But it changed hands a number of times through the years. I think it ended up in the hands of a family named Gorgas. And of course, they, they was used to cut all the virgin timber in this area back in that time. But yeah, I found it. Cool. Let's get a little closer to it. And so here it is. Cool. It is, it is huge. Awesome. Yeah, let's turn this around so you can see me in it. This thing's pretty huge. And of course it just goes way up. Just out here in the middle of nowhere. Pretty cool. This reminds me of when I go hiking in Lebanon County, Northern Lebanon County and Stony Valley or St. Anthony's Wilderness and you just have those ruins just out in the middle of nowhere. Cause this is, this is literally in the middle of nowhere. You know, I got like, I don't know, I got like two, three hour hike back to the truck now. But uh, anyway, this is cool finding this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna give you the GPS coordinates where I am here. Let's focus. There we go. So 40, 21, 063, 77, 06, 13.3.
So if you want to try and find this place, you know, instead of me trying to give directions we're here, like I started out in the beginning, it's just nuts. There's so many, you know, I'm not quite sure exactly where I am. I mean, I know I'm off that main trail I was on, but I'm back pretty far on that trail. Five, so who knows how many miles, but lost track of time here. But anyway, that's, if you want to find this place, those are the coordinates on how to get here. That's probably just the best way if you want to find this place you're interested in. It is a long walk to find this place, but it's cool. It kind of makes these longer hikes worth it, you know, kind of find something like this out here. It's out here in the middle of nowhere. Just a remnant of the past. Yeah, like I said, it was built in 1857, and then I think during the Civil War it shut down for a while, for obvious reasons, but then it started up again. It, pretty pros it was a pretty uh, prosperous sawmill for a time, but now it's just out here. And that stack is still there after what, you know, 1850s, you know, yeah, quite a while, so it's pretty cool. But I'm gonna try and eat lunch here. It's getting a little chilly just sitting here, and then I'm gonna walk around a little bit and head on out. Yeah, so I'm just walking around a little bit here again. There are remnants of stuff out here. There's like little, little mounds back here. So nice buck rub down there, too. So there's obviously number of different buildings back here probably. Let's go walk around a little bit more. Since it took me forever to get out here, might as well explore a little bit. That's just kind of a neat view of it there. I'm glad I found it. Man, the people who built this stuff put, you know, they put pride in their work. You know, it's still standing out here hundreds of years later, which is pretty awesome. And there are some other cool foundations out here. These like right here, along with the stack. I just love that thing, man. I just, yeah, I'm just glad I found it. I keep saying that, but it was a long, it was a long hike to find this thing. Like I said, I was giving up, so I actually found it then. Sheesh. All right, I'm gonna head back soon here. I'm getting cold. Sitting down for lunch cooled me down again. Yeah, there are some other ruins out here. Here's the main, some kind of wall. Something was here, because I'm, the stack is back there somewhere. I think I see something up here a little bit too. Oh yeah, down here's a wall. in the wall right here but I see something up in the distance up there just a little bit so let's walk up there yeah there was another building back out here too see the remains of it it's nice stone work back there all right so say goodbye to the stack the Dun Cannon Stack. Awesome thing. But I gotta head back. There's probably other ruins in the area here. Today was more just hoping to find the place. Because I know that this road continues on. I'm sure there's more out here um, to look at. Now that I know where this is, I might come out, well, I'll try to come out here some again, again sometime. Do some more research, see if there's anything else out here in this area. But uh, it's almost 2.30, so I got at least a two-hour hike. That puts it at 4.30. It'll be almost dark by then, so I'm on the north side of the mountain, too, so I got to get going. But uh, I'm going to try to record to keep track of exactly how long it took me to get back to the truck, because getting here, I was wandering around a lot more and looking for it, so I'm going to try and get a better idea how long it takes to hike out here if you're interested in finding this yourself. All right, got to get going. Awesome place. Yep, just one last look at it through the trees there. What a search. All right. All right, so I'm probably about 10 minutes from the parking area, so it took me Took me a little, little bit less than I thought it would, about an hour and a half to make it back down, because I was hustling a little bit too. 
and head downhill most of the time. So I was planning for about two hours. But if you're gonna make this hike, I would plan for about a, at least a four hour hike. And uh, of course I, had the, I gave you the GPS coordinates, I would follow those. Yes, yeah, so there's there's two guys I met at the beginning of the hike, which is right about here. They were actually wrong. That stack is not on this main road. You have to go off one of those forks that goes off to the right. So that hunter I talked to was right. The only thing he didn't mention was that there was like three, four, five different places where the, there's a fork that goes off to the right. It was like, I forget, it was like the fourth or fifth one. Uh, don't take my word for that, but it was something like that. So we did find it. Some persistence and some prayer, we found it. Um, and I like to show you, like some videos that do stuff like this, they, they start to video right at the uh, cool thing they're looking at. But I like to take you along with, you know, from the very start. Because one thing you miss um, when you start to video right at the cool spot is you miss all this other stuff. It may not be terribly interesting, but it shows you, you know, there's a lot that goes into finding some of these places. It's a lot of work, you know, I'm, I'm beat today. My, my knee is killing me, my whole leg is killing me right now. It was like a 10, 10 mile hike maybe, at least, something like that, so it's, it's tough. And, he, and I, I did find what I was looking for, but it just shows it can be difficult, it's not always easy. It's not always a walk in the park. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We did find what we were looking for, and I'm looking forward to getting home. Um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so enjoy your Thanksgiving. Of course, you'll see this video long after Thanksgiving, but hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. So anyway, I'll see you around. Not sure where I'll be next, but that's where I'll see you. Thanks.